Hey everybody, Devin here. I think this video is going to go up a little bit after Halloween, but I don't care. We're doing one more Halloween themed video for 2020. Recently, I've started getting these direct messages in some of my developer chats from strangers, people I've never met or talked to before. And these messages are a little bit suspect. So I wanted to share some with you and just sort of give you fair warning to watch out for these not quite scams, but almost scams that seem to be prevalent right now in developer Slack chats. Let's go to the computer. The first mark of these, not exactly scams, but close, is that the person will contact you and almost the first thing they say is nice to meet you, which is a little bit odd, as if to suggest that once you type someone's name out in Slack, you have met them. And whoever's sort of propagating information about how to do this over Slack has trained people apparently to lead in with some small talk. So usually you'll get some questions about what sorts of technologies you're working with. That's going to go on for a while. Then they're going to hit you with the ask. This one says, I have a good idea to make income through our collaboration. And I sort of tease these conversations out for two reasons. One, I want to give people the benefit of the doubt. And two, because I just like to see what approach they're taking, what their angle is. This one is apparently a developer in China who would like for me to procure some work and then hand it off. That alone isn't really necessarily a bad thing, but the idea that after a five minute Slack conversation that I would feel comfortable handing off work to this person is kind of wild to me. But at the end of the day, nothing especially sinister about this. You could chalk this up to just someone with not great people skills. Although, as you can see at the bottom here, I kind of pushed them off and said I'm not taking on a lot of work at the moment, but I'll keep you in mind in the future. And they say, okay, thanks, but then they're starting to try to push to the next level. So can you create a Slack for us and invite me? Are you on Skype or Telegram? They're just trying to take that next step in the commitment to make sure that I'm, I'm going to be able to find them and they're going to be able to find me later. Again, not, not really bad, not really scammy, just a little bit pushy, especially for someone that I have just met in a Slack channel, and someone who doesn't even live where this Slack channel is sort of based. This is the Seattle Hacks Slack, and this person being in China is obviously not part of that community. Now, the next one I'm going to show you, this one is pretty scammy, and, and this is something you definitely want to avoid at all costs. Again, we start out with just a greeting out of nowhere. I've never seen or heard of this person before I respond. And then their next statement is, nice to meet you. After those two messages, we have at this point met in this person's estimation. And then this person kind of cuts straight to the chase. I'm very interested in your profile and I want to cooperate with you. The form of this cooperation is really the problem. They are asking if I work on Upwork to be clear, I have a profile on Upwork, and I sometimes hire people on Upwork, but I generally don't do any gigs on Upwork. In fact, I'm not sure that I've ever taken a gig on Upwork, but this individual probably doesn't care so much about that. And if we keep going, we get to the ask. There are US-only jobs on Upwork, and this person would like to be able to take them despite the fact that they are not in the US, so they want to leverage my account, since I do live in the U.S., in order to do that. You might ask, well, why not just let them use your account? Besides the fact that it's dishonest and it feels kind of gross, someday I might want to use that account. I don't think that's going to happen, but I don't want to close that door, especially just to allow this person to sort of cheat the system. This one definitely falls into the scam category, and I've been getting this one a lot recently, so be sure you watch out for it. So those are a couple things to look out for in your Slack chats. I don't really even want to call these scams because I don't know that anyone is trying to scam anyone necessarily. There is some 
dishonesty going on and it's definitely something to look out for and it's definitely something to be aware of and be prepared for. That's all for this video. Hope your Halloween was awesome and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.